Hi, welcome back to another episode of Road Back to India. My apologies because I didn't upload last week. Uh, the reason for that is that I recorded this whole episode about budget, but like a day later I realized it was just wrong. I did not explain it correctly. So I want to do that again and let's start off from scratch. This is how I calculate my budget for India, just in case you want to travel yourself. Or if you're curious, like Ivana, how do you handle your finances when you're traveling? Now, it's very easy. I do this in Excel and I calculate like a daily budget and then I multiply that daily budget uh, with the you know amount of days that I'm going to stay in a country. So for India, um, let's just start off here. I will need, you know, a daily budget for accommodation, for food, for transportation, for activities and a little bit extra budget because, you know, sometimes you need a new toothbrush or maybe new toothpaste. So all those kind of things that you don't think about and I, to be very honest, I usually forget to calculate them. So now I know I need to take that into account. We're going to start off with accommodation and I know like the daily average budget you need to calculate uh, for India is about 500 rupees. I am not a super low budget traveler. I know you can do India for like $10 a day, but I don't like that. I don't like that um, in terms of my safety, but I also I don't I like a little bit of comfort. Let's be honest and some places will be cheaper like Rishikesh that was like I think like 300 rupees per night and other places like Mumbai are extremely expensive In case you're wondering how do you know the daily average budget for accommodation in India? Well, let me just show you because if you just type in daily budget India you will get Yes, perfect Hello Rachel, helping me out again. You will get very useful blog posts of people who have been to India and who wrote down their expenses and you know, just let you know what the daily average costs of various things are. So let me see. Daily average, but daily food budget, 300 rupees. I calculate in 500 rupees because I know I'm going to definitely be spending more money on food than the average person because I love food. And I don't mind spending a little bit more money on uh, food when I'm traveling. So Rachel says, I don't think I ever spent more than 500 rupees per night. Yes, exactly. Uh, I actually did in... Um, in Delhi because I wanted a little bit more luxury and because I you know you have to balance it out so just sometimes when you save money you have to spend a little bit more money just to get a little bit of extra comfort yada 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 so then transportation what is Rachel saying what do I need weekly transport counting on uh, no more than 3,000 for sure probably 1,500 if you take two big journeys it's 428 rupees. Let's just say transportation, 450 rupees. Activities, last time I calculated like 50 euros. Did I do that per month? I think I did. Or per week. I think I did that per month. So let's just put in 50 euros per month. And with activities, I mean like a backwater tour or the Katakali dance I did in Kochi. I think if I calculate like maybe 25 euros, that will be okay. Because that's what I spend in the Netherlands and it's for sure enough in India. I'm going to be staying for 90 days. So I need to calculate like 90 times 500 for accommodation. Let me see. 90 days times 500 is a 45,000. And of course, that's the same for food 45,000. 90. Yes, so 40,000. 500. Now I'm going to calculate that back to euros. I love the XA app and I love the XA website for calculating uh, different currencies. Let me see, no, I need Indian rupee. So let me see how much would this be. 
So this is like 90,000, 90,000, and then, where are you, son? 130,500 rupees. How much euro is that? 1720 euro. But that's for 90 days. 1720 euros. India is definitely not as expensive as you would think to travel. It's one of the cheapest countries in the world. And very much value for Mali. Money. Mali. And then 50 euros per month. So that would be 150 euros. And adding 75 euros for extra expenses. So let's just calculate the total. There you go. I need, let me just round things up. I need like 1950 euros to travel three months in India comfortably, like in a medium level. So definitely not very low budget, but also definitely not very luxurious. And this is excluding my plane ticket to India. Just in case you're wondering, Ivana, where did you get that money? Well, I saved for three years before I left for travel last year and I still have some budget left for that. If you think this video is useful, please put a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, I will see you next week in another episode of Road Back to India. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.